Okay, uh, so I'm playing Dreamfall Chapters again. Uh, I've done a few previous videos on this. Book 4 has been released today, and along with Book 4, uh, the upgrade to Unity 5. Uh, previously the game was on Unity 4. There have been some performance issues uh, for users, and apparently massive issues in actually developing the game. As they're running out of memory, just trying to build it, as they've added more, more content on, it's become unworkable for them. So they felt they had to do the engine upgrade in the middle of the, the story development, which is delayed book four. But it's out now. Um, I'm not going to play book four today, because it's a story-based game. I can't see how I can play book four for you without spoiling the story, and I don't want to do that. I want you to uh, check out the game on Steam. It's on sale right now, 60% off. Excellent value. So I'm just going to start from the beginning right now, and then uh, I'll go back to my old save game and uh, play book four after I've done recording this video. Uh, so it's going to ruin my choices, but then again, playing from the save should restore them all again. Uh, it's keeping track. I'm not connected to Facebook. I am connected to Steam. There we go. Always I say feature. So if you watched my or anyone else's earlier videos on this, they would have been in Unity 4. There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the thief of dreams. So I know you know how it ends. Which is always good, I guess. Um, you don't really know anything important about how it ends, to be fair. Uh, in the story based things, it's all about the journey, isn't it? Oh. So. I'm somewhat trepidatious at this point because I've not tried to play it, the new version, up until now. There wasn't a, you know, a beta for Windows users, but this is the first time anyone on Linux, well, today is the first time anyone on Linux has got to uh, look at the Unity 5 version. So I'm hoping it will work. We should see uh, much better uh, lighting effects, uh, high resolution textures, I guess, although I've not got them turned on. I've got everything still on uh, mostly medium, because, you know, I've got a medium computer. But the performance should be better, and the lighting, in Unity 5, the lighting is a completely different system which should be more naturalistic, I'm guessing. So this scene here, uh, in case you're wondering, is actually from the previous game in the series, which is Dreamfall The Longest Journey, which came out in 2006. Oh, there is an Alliance version, obviously. does work with wine. I did actually complete it just a few days ago. Well, a few days. A week, maybe. And that is uh, April. The start of the original uh, The Longest Journey game, which is a point-and-click adventure. Except now in high res, obviously. So yes, I do recommend you play the original game, even if it has to be with wine, if you've not played it already. 
It's a, well, I say the original. The actual original, The Longest Journey, doesn't work really well with wine at all. You'd have to use plain Linux, I guess. There's a, there's a custom build of wine, wine 1.3 point something that's been hacked to work with the game. Uh, this obviously it's been native all the way hmm, a bit weird on the older textures there around the boat well I say native obviously it's unity so it's it's in a runtime this is all the precursors of the game proper I think I probably skipped all of this the first time I recorded a video he already looks different to me, although I'm going to have to go back and look. See if I recorded in a video the first time. So the way this is presented to us, we have to assume there's some connection between uh, April's funeral that we just saw and the white light appearing alongside the uh, newborn, well, the, the birth of the child in that house. This isn't a series of lights to explain itself very often though. In fact, half the fun is uh, arguing on forums about uh, interpretation of what's going on. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That isn't always the case. Some stories simply Stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story. So that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams. A dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? Good the question. Thing is, my body may be here in a hospital. But my mind, my mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. So there you go, you've got the background. We've watched an awful lot of cutscene, I've not actually played the game yet, to be fair. So we can't really test performance. It does look uh, sharper to me though. I'm sure we'll actually get some gameplay in a minute. I'm not going to do too much though, I'm just going to verify that it's uh, working smoothly, so to speak. And uh, then once again encourage you to buy the game. I guess if you're not intrigued by the story, you won't buy it. And if you are intrigued by the story, you will, so... It's worth showing the cutscenes for that. I don't think in my original video in this, I didn't. Uh, there were some definite bugs with mouse control when I first bought the game. So you left click on items. This is Wonkers. He's a, um, he's a, purple, a purple creature thing. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. So let's Sleeping look at Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. 
So it all seems to be working so far. I've not done anything story related yet, I'm just examining Dad, the scene. Gabrielle stops by every day. Keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. I think I've looked at everything. Let's uh, go on out here to the story time. And we find the trap dreamer. Story time to look at. Okay. So let's look at the story time. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? And then we've got to go and rescue the trapped dreamer. I hear her calling out for help. She's trapped in a looping night terror. Let's go and get her then. So this woman has a fear of falling. I can't grab her, she's falling too quickly. Alright. Ah God. So we can slow down time, which is handy. I still missed up. Let's try that again. I'll get it one time. F, F to track interesting objects. Time. Help me! Hold on. There we go. Oh God, don't let go. You have to hold F again. Is what you have to do. Thanks for, for saving me. Feels like I've been falling forever. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was... This feels so real. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. Stop using that thing, the dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back, and maybe I won't find you next time, and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh, God, no. No, I promise I'll remember. Do something else with your spare time. G huh? Go shopping. Have lots of sex, take more naps, anything but this. Well, there you go. Time to wake up. Thank you. Again. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back. There we go. One dreamer saved. So, spoilers, you do escape from Dreamtime, eventually. This is only uh, book one. And you will then uh, go on an interesting adventure through many different locations, um, which probably look a lot better than what they did in the Unity 4 version. And you'll also get to play as Kian, who, you, who we discussed in the introduction, in the cutscenes you saw there. Oh, there's another another thing to deal with down there. Um, it really is an excellent story. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've played every book as soon as it came out, and uh, you know, more or less rushed through it. I plan to play the whole thing again now. The uh, the Unity Five version is out. But first, I'm going to go and play Book Four with my old save. Uh, definitely check this game out while it's on sale. It's a uh, Unity game. Uh, native Linux, well, Unity native Linux, and uh, it seems to be performing pretty well. Although these aren't these aren't the taxing scenes, really. But I didn't want to spoil anything. I've just shown you the start of the game. Oh, again, I guess. Uh, if you enjoyed it at all, or you know, weren't put off by me talking over it, then go and get the game right now on Steam, 60% off. It is. 
Uh, excellent, like I said.